I'm John Skinner and this is a supplement to my book Fishing the Bucktail and the book covers bucktailing for a variety of species from surf, kayak, and boat. I'm on an eastern Long Island South Shore Bay and out in these eastern Long Island waters I haven't seen a weak fish in quite some time. In fact what you've seen here is the first weak fish I've hooked up in eight years. I'm using a three-quarter ounce bucktail with a strip of number 50 Uncle Josh pork rind and I was just trying to work it near the bottom for bass and uh, I in fact thought this was going to be a bass and when I finally brought it up to the kayak I was pretty surprised at what I saw and um, I, I have some pretty terrible drift conditions here and when I saw this was a weak fish another thing I saw was that my fish finder was really lit up and weak fish have a habit of uh, showing up very nicely on fish finders because of their swim bladders so when I saw this and I was um, after catching this fish having some issues trying to get a decent drift over the fish I decided that what I would do is I, I know the area pretty well I knew that um, I could paddle in maybe a <clears throat> hundred feet or so still within casting range and get to a place where I could stand and cast and I thought that would give me a better chance at making a decent presentation um, in that near bottom strike zone where weak fish like to be Okay, so I've gotten out of the kayak now and I'm waiting and I'm actually casting over a pretty good drop off here. It goes to about 15 feet so I want to make sure I lead the current a little bit and let that jig settle all the way down to the bottom and as things would have it, uh, it's pretty breezy here and I got a little bit of a wind loop so um, the jig had even a little extra time to get to the bottom. It was probably on the bottom by the time I started this retrieve and I was just looking to do a, a slow retrieve near the bottom and it didn't take long at all to get a hookup. Bucktails work great on weak fish, uh, as do many lead head uh, soft plastic jig combinations. One of my favorites are the, the swim shads, a four inch storm in white is very effective. Um, generally the rule is if, you know something low and slow, they're often near the bottom, they uh, react to slow retrieves. Um, you know, there are some exceptions to that. There are times where in Long Island Sound I've done very well and have caught some of my biggest weak fish casting into perhaps five to eight feet of water and using surface swimming plugs, uh, particularly red fins. I made this video about a week after I caught this fish and by then some of the reports coming out of uh, Shinnecock Bay and Peconic Bay had some um, pretty good catches of weak fish so uh, it's encouraging that maybe these fish are on their way back. They tend to be very cyclic in their populations where um, for years they'll be almost non-existent and then they can come back in a hurry so uh, hopefully they're on their way making it back. Alright I'm gonna let the rest of this play out and thanks for watching.